Hi, my name is Joanne and I'm from A Roses Creations and I'm here to show you a video on growing mushrooms. So what I did is I cheated and I bought, uh, got two kits. Um, a friend of mine wants to watch them grow, so she donated these two to me. You can get them for like $35 and, um, from Amazon I, for, for two. So I just checked to see how much. I think that's where she got them. So, um, pretty easy to do. So I'm going to show you the process really quick. Let's see if I can move this closer to you. There we go. That's a little better. So here is the process. Uh, Open up the bags. Flip. Flip, flip. I suggest you get a bucket of water um, ready ahead of time. So what I did is I just did a small tote. And I have two different kits. So I put one in the tote directly. And then this one I have in a container in the tote. It's good to keep them separate, so the water heights are the same, but they're just below where um, they're going to mix. So this way I can do one container. I'll show you a little bit later when I put it in there. It comes with a spray bottle because you're going to need to spray uh, with water in order two times a day in order for them to actually grow. So I'm going to put this on the side. And then it has an instruction kit, instruction, and I think it has little recipes and stuff in there too. I did this once before. Um, yep, just uh, directions on how to do it. And then it has a little activity thing here so kids can actually uh, do a little quiz on fungus and mushrooms and stuff in order to learn a little bit. You can actually learn too because if you don't know the answers. Uh, and then it does have a buy one, share one. So what happens is help us garden as part of school curriculum. Share a photo of your growing mushrooms and we'll donate a kit curricula an elementary classroom of your choice so you're going to tag it back to uh, back to the roots um, and then tag grow one give one and when you tag it I believe you would probably put um, the school and classrooms name on it maybe I have to check on that a little bit and see so um, probably give me couple elementary schools because I don't really have um, any elementary school of my choice right now. So your kids in school, give me an elementary and a classroom uh, teacher's name so that way and uh, number so that way I can actually get it hopefully sent to them. First, uh, hmm, let me see, first two, how about uh, contest? So, um, share this video, like this video, and then give me a classroom, elementary school, classroom, and teacher, and then I will uh, do one for two different classrooms, because I have two different kits, two different classrooms. Open up the box, and it's a bag. And what you are supposed to do is cut just the fronts here. And then you put it back in the box. After you're done watering, you put it back in a box and it grows out of the box. I don't care to do that. I like to have a little bit more grow out of it. So I want to cut the sides. So I'm going to probably put it on a dish and it's going to go in the corner of my kitchen. 
So what I'm going to do is do like it says, which is, it says cut an X. Um, but I also like doing that a little bit different too. So I just cut. Make sure you get a clean knife, by the way. And I just cut slits in it. So slit, slit, and slit. So I got three different slits. One here, one there, one there. Then what I'm going to do is do the same on the sides. So I'm going to do a good size one over here. And I'm going to do a good size one down lower and to the right. So one to the left, one to the right. So it's going to be a slit there. And then I did a slit there. Um, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So one slit, another slit here, and then I'm going to separate this just a little bit. So I'll probably put a H, like a little slit here and here, just on the end of the cuts. And if you do that, then it can open them. So you can do it two different ways. One big X, or you can do this way. Both of them work good. You just want the slit to be able to open a little bit because the mycelium needs to be able to crack through. Whoops, I missed the spot where I was supposed to do it. There, there. I can smell the mushrooms already. So, that's the slit, and then this is a little fold. So what I did is I just did a little slit here this way, this way, and then one this way. And then I did one up here, same thing. Slit, slit, and then slit. Same here. One, one in the middle on this side, and one over here. And then I did one there and one there. So, when it sits on the plate later, you can actually do it on the bottom if you want. You know what? On this one, I didn't do it on the last one, but I will do it on this one. So, one, two on the bottom, because it's going to be put on its side. And then cut open. Now, take this and put it in water. So I have the water ready already. Sorry for the pressure cooker I'm cooking. So, um, and then you just put it in the water. Put the slits down because you want the water to saturate it. Okay? And then it's going to float. The down thing just floats, and that's the end of that. So what I normally do is get a plate. So here's my plate, and I put it on there. So now it's in the water. Let me just show you quick how I did it. So two of them, and then the plate. And that's going to hold it down into the water. I'm not going to put the cover on it because I don't really have to put the cover on it. Oh, sorry about that. And now I am going to leave it right here next to my little table. No, I better take that cover off though. Just take it all that way. Right here. And let it do its thing. So 24 hours uh, tomorrow, I will take them out and I will put them on a plate. So I'll take them and just, I'll probably just set them on this plate. Um, I might go smaller because I might do two, but this plate will probably be just as good. Depends on what I decide to do. And then I'm going to spray. What I gotta do is you take the spray bottle and use, I use bottled water. You're supposed to sterilize the water, blah, blah, blah. I just use plain old water from a bottle, uh, the bottled water, because it's pasteurized. Put it in here. Spray it. I only keep that one just for this, but to fill this bottle, and then I spray it, and then I wait next day, in the morning, at night, and then 
um, watch to see them grow. Put them in the corner of the room. They can be in the dark. They don't have to be in the light, but I'll just put them in the kitchen right next to uh, right next to my canister set type thing and leave them there and let them grow. So then I can remember to do it every day. So I'm going to do it in the, once in the morning, spray them once in the morning, spray them once at night. And then once they start growing, uh, when I start seeing a little bit of pinning, I will post another picture, post a picture on here for you. And then once it starts growing a little bit more, when I see, see some progress, I will post progress pitches so that you can see them uh hope you have a great holiday i should be being able to harvest in like 10 days and it's close to yeah we're 20 it's the 16th 17th 16th so maybe for christmas i will have some fresh mushrooms um they are oyster mushrooms and one of them is pearl oyster and the other one is oh, where is the box it's pink oyster i think that's the official name to it let me just uh yeah organic pink oyster mushrooms very good tasting um i put them in anything and everything i put them in salads and then i cook them up with steak or chicken or uh put them in oriental food stir fry Taste really good. Put them in salads. You can eat them like that. It's best to cook mushrooms, though, but you can put them in the salads. So, uh, like I said, like, share, and then give me a elementary school and teacher, so that way I can uh, have one kit sent to two different classes, and I'll do some kind of drawing um, to figure out what classes get them. Um, have a great day. Have a happy holidays if I don't see you before then. And uh, thank you for watching.